Yeah, we're setting up Boot Camp on this Mac, so the Mac will be able to boot into Windows XP, and then it'll be able to render along with the other computers in the render farm. Overall? Oh, yeah, just, just getting started installing Windows over here. Um, just had to load the SCSI drivers for the uh, drives here. So that means XP is going to work? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just installing Windows. There we <laughs> Nothing go. too big going on here. <laughs> we started with our uh, four Pentium 4s, and then we had a few pen dual Pentium 3s that we added. Um, adding a few of the office computers, like a, a Core 2 Duo and uh, Core 2 Duo Mac, and uh, we're going to get to the 8-core Mac and to the, uh, the dual Xeons that just came in today. So we got four dual Xeon systems right here. Not really. <laughs> I'm tired of being on camera. When things are going a little more positive, I'll talk to you. What's, uh, what's going on? It's not working. <laughs> oh, now it's working. <sighs> I replaced the power supply in the video card. Oh, you know what? I think it was working. I, uh, just need to wait 30 seconds for the boot menu to go away. <laughs> I thought it would be hitting the hard drive more than it did. Should see it come online too. It's so funny, these put out lukewarm air. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting the SCSI drivers onto my Windows XP installation, so right now what I'm doing is I'm building a new CD, slipstreaming the drivers right onto it. data on the CD, so I tried to boot off the hard drive again. So what's the next step? I need another CD. Okay, so I tried to burn two sessions to this one, and it doesn't see the second one. That was just one of them? Yeah, but that's just when it first turns on. Right. I've got the first server installed with just a base Windows and uh, need to install all the render software and then I'll start cloning the hard drives to all the other servers. Right now we're just booting up. Number one is cloning to a drive. Number two is up. And I'm just getting number three renamed. So when that drive's done cloning, it'll go in number four. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, going forward, the more you can put all the shared stuff on that computer, the better off we'll be, I think. Yeah. As far as maps and stuff like that goes. Because the thing is that that's a Windows 2000 server. Okay. It's not going to limit the number of connections. I'm not sure if there's a limit on the Vista machine. Oh. Uh, you know? I mean, maybe it doesn't. I don't really know off the top of my head. But XP limits you at 10 connections. So you have too many servers going out and grabbing files at the same time, they're going to start getting blocked. I see. I don't know if Vista has that or not, but 